Hey Access members, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use what we call plugins and basically these plugins are going to be accessories or things to really make your website unique to your own. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we begin I want to share with you what exactly is a plugin and the best way that I can describe it is uh, think of your website as like we talked about before as a car and we have the Genesis framework and that's your engine and then we have the uh, the child theme that is basically the exterior or the decorations of your car so it's like the paint and the body and then boom we installed that and now we want you know we want to make it look even better so we want to install some rims or um, you know a new steering wheel and that kind of stuff and that's kind of what plugins are that's you're basically uh, plugging in these uh, new software applications to make your website unique. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Basically, in order to find plugins, you need to go to your WordPress dashboard. And on the left hand side, there's actually a selection where you click plugin. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this is basically the page that's going to give you a list of all the plugins that's currently on your website. So when you first install WordPress, there's already going to be some standard plugins that are going to be uh, pre-installed like Hello Dolly, Jetpack, uh, maybe WP Super Cache. Um, and some of them do we need and some of them we don't. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and delete Hello Dolly because we don't need that one. Okay, and then we're also going to delete the WP Super Cache. And I'm also going to recommend to delete Jetpack. Now, I'm not saying these plugins are not good, but um, I'm going to recommend other ones that do the similar process. And the reason why is there are certain plugins that uh, take up a lot of memory and they slow down your website. So I'm very selective when it comes to which plugins I use because I want to make sure that my uh, website is running in a very quick process. And I'll explain why that is important when it comes to the uh, search engine optimization tutorials. Okay, so now that we kind of cleaned up some of these pre-installed plugins, we're gonna basically go search for some new ones. Uh, we're gonna, in order to do that, you would just go to click add new. And then it's gonna give you a search box, just kind of like a Google search engine box here. And you can basically type in anything um, and they'll gonna give you some kind of results. But before we do that, I want to show you some tabs on the top right here. Uh, there's a Featured tab. And these are basically some featured plugins that um, WordPress is currently promoting. And there's also Popular. And I like this Popular search because these are basically a list of plugins that a lot of WordPress um, website owners use. And these might be some that you might want to consider using as well. And there's also some newest plugins that have been added. Um, I would be uh, selective of trying to use some of these because uh, they're so new, they haven't been tested. Maybe they need to be upgraded. And um, so I would try to avoid the newest sections. And there's also favorites as well. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna just show you how to do the search here. And a lot of times you're gonna use search because you're just gonna to try to search for some something. And in this case, I'm gonna, this example, I'm gonna show you how to find a contact form. And I basically, you know, a contact form is like when, when someone goes to your website and they wanna fill out their name and email so they can quote unquote contact you. Um, and the one that I like to recommend is called contact form seven. So we're gonna go ahead and type in contact form seven and we're gonna click search plugins. And they're going to give you a list of uh, results that show up with contact form seven. So there's going to be the name of the plugin, the version, and this one on top is version 3.6. And the reason why this is important is uh, the more versions there are, that means that the developer is constantly updating uh, this software, which is a really good thing. And that's probably the reason why it has such a high rating at four and a half stars. And there you go. And that there's a description of what it does, what it's all about and who the name of the developer is. So installing plugins is really fun because there's just so many that you can try. Um, some of them are, 
uh, work really well and then others uh, are hit and miss. And so sometimes it does come down to a trial and error. Um, and so I'm going to try to save you some time and frustration by giving you a list of the ones that I personally recommend and use. So we're going to go and do that. So I've tried many uh, contact forms and like the one I said that a lot of people do recommend is contact form seven. And in order to install it, we just simply click this install now button. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to install this plugin? You want to say yes. Okay. And literally within a second or two, it's already installed. It says successfully installed the plugin. And now all we have to do is click activate plugin. And there you go. Now it's installed and it's activated. And that's really the simple process of finding plugins and installing them. And uh, in a future video, I'm going to show you how to use this plugin and create a contact page. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on plugins and we'll see you in the next video.